this freaking meadows guess what we are going to do a get ready with me while i tell you about the biggest fitness mistakes i made and i wish i knew sooner so this is just me what i've been noticing on my journey i've been working out for probably seven eight nine years now but like i originally started working out to lose weight back in high school and then i was a varsity athlete in university uh and i've done various different tra training styles all throughout from like crossfit to high intensity interval training to long distance running to short distance running to training athlete specific sport specific now training like a bodybuilder with mainly hypertrophy training so i do have quite a bit of experience in that respect and so this is going to be just me getting ready while i do my makeup and explaining some of the mistakes i wish i knew sooner to hopefully help you avoid these mistakes or somebody i can also relate to some of these misconceptions and mistakes that we typically make at the beginning of our fitness journey so one of the biggest mistakes and the number one factor for my exponential growth has been nutrition. Okay, so you always hear about training intensity, um, training till failure, giving your 100% in the gym. And then we typically go home and neglect one of the most important things being nutrition for either weight loss or muscle like growth is nutrition so i heard, saw this quote the other day on instagram reels being like stop giving your training 100 percent and then going home and giving your nutrition 50 percent and like that was literally me for the longest time and 50 percent was generous like sure i at the beginning when i lost a lot of weight in high school i was in a calorie deficit and i knew that that was the way to lose weight and i saw so much success in that but then as i started to progress on my fitness journey and go down the road of building muscle and stuff like that um i was only focused on getting my protein in and while that is important it's not the only thing that was important i think that was holding me back for like the longest time was thinking oh i can just f off on the other macronutrients if i have enough protein and that did serve me well for a good amount of time but as i'm coming to see on my bodybuilding journey the other macronutrients are very very important such as carbs and fats so that was a big 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 lesson like even if you look back at some of my older videos just even from november october I was carrying quite a bit of excess body fat, but that was to be expected. Like I, I was not on a bodybuilding journey and I was happy with the way I, I looked. But uh, as soon as I decided to get serious with my bodybuilding journey and want, decided to compete in a show, I like really had to buckle down and see what really goes into nutrition and how do bodybuilders eat. And it was super eye-opening to see how, like even how fast my body changed um with the uh i call them small changes because to me they like it was such an easy fix like just tra start tracking all your macronutrients and and adjust that to what a bodybuilder would eat and i've seen so much improvement in my body composition it, and it was pri primarily due to nutrition okay i'm just going to some blush right now but even people at the gym will ask me oh, oh maybe you're looking so good like how did you do how did you like what did you what are you training differently i'm like i'm not training any differently like the training has been the exact same i mean obviously i have my eight week mesocycles and i kind of like just vary up the plan every eight weeks just so i'm not like getting uh muscle fatigue and you know all the, all that good stuff but it's been nutrition that's how i was been been able to make such drastic changes in since january or since uh, like november when you saw me last these it's nutrition i can't stress it enough um a lot of times though people are not willing to budge on their nutrition i think that's what's holding them back from reaching their physique goals or their fitness goals and it's 
sad how much misinformation is out there on uh, on nutrition. But if you would like a more in-depth like info video on nutrition and like what goes into that, I can definitely make one for those who are interested to just let me know in the comments. But anyways, let's move on to another mistake I made was like telling myself I'm training till failure or and not actually training till failure. Like if you watch any one of Sam Solik's videos, that is training till failure. If if you're not you don't look like that when you're when you're training. If you haven't broken a sweat when you're training, I'm not saying you're not training to failure, but watch one of those videos. It just watching his videos has shown me what training to failure looks like. Gives me the motivation to keep going and shows me that yeah, this is what training to failure looks like. You need to be doing what this guy's doing. And ever since I implemented his training style and um the way he trains and how hard he trains so inspirational so motivating that's training till failure so telling yourself uh there's a difference between telling yourself you're training till failure and actually training till failure okay another mistake i see a lot and i definitely made at the beginning too was switching up my training program too frequently or seeing like your favorite influencers doing a exercise and being like oh yep changing up the program completely to adapt to what they're doing again there's a lot of misinformation and changing up your program will hinder your results like you need to stick to a program consistently for at least four weeks to see any kind of improvement or like strength let, let alone hypertrophy as well so i used to again see my favorite influencer post their booty workout and be like, oh, perfect, like, I'm doing exactly that next time I go in when I haven't even done my, the program I had written out for myself for four to eight weeks as of yet. So that's consistency to sticking to a program. I've also seen crazy results just by just doing that. And so these are just little things where you probably hear them all the time from fitness coaches or online coaches but from somebody who like just I don't claim to be such a big influencer or a coach or any of these things it's just real things from a real person trying to help you mitigate some of those mistakes I made at the very beginning and if you're questioning whether or not that oh that these influences are lying or they sports and exercise scientists where well, they don't know what they're talking about no trust me they do a good one to follow Mike is Rattel. insane insane as soon as I started implementing his training methodologies insane growth and I will stand by that forever uh, a mistake I wish I knew sooner was following him L following him has been astronomical to my growth in not only nutrition wise but also training wise insane anyways this is the finished look cute right just a little makeup for the day um, but yeah, if I knew those sooner, I wish I would have, but that's not how life works, right? So we just have to take what we can and learn as we are, keep going. And that's, I, that's why I have also embarked on this bodybuilding journey is, uh, the things I've been learning, not only about myself, but also about the sport and the community and seeing what actually goes into a competition prep has been really enlightening and humbling and it's not easy uh but i hope you've been liking these videos uh, my name is mavis freaking meadows i'll see you guys again tomorrow <laughs>